Beneath your feet lies a story written in stone, a story of pressure, heat, and unimaginable time, a story of rocks that quietly hold fortunes, yet go unnoticed by nearly everyone who walks past them. Among these overlooked guardians is Schist, a rock that rarely takes the spotlight, but has silently held onto gold for millions of years. To the untrained eye, Schist may look dull, flaky, or even worthless. But to the prospector who listens carefully to the whispers of the earth, Schist is a silent keeper of wealth, a geological vault concealing golden secrets. And once you learn how to read its language, you may never look at a hillside the same way again. To understand Schist, you must imagine the earth's crust as a restless painter, constantly reshaping its canvas. Rocks are not static. They are transformed by forces of heat and pressure, folded, squeezed, and altered until they become something new. Schist is born from this transformation. It begins as mudstone, shale, or volcanic ash, soft, ordinary materials. But deep underground, under immense heat and pressure, these sediments recrystallize into shiny, platy minerals like mica, garnet, and storolite. This metamorphic transformation doesn't just make schist beautiful in its own subtle way, it makes it the perfect host for gold. Gold, unlike most metals, does not bond easily with other elements. It prefers to remain free, carried in hot hydrothermal fluids that snake upward through cracks in the earth. As those fluids cool, gold often gets trapped, but it doesn't scatter randomly. It seeks structural weaknesses, folds, fractures, and shear zones. And schist, with its layered and fractured nature, provides exactly the kind of environment where gold can quietly lodge itself, hidden away from millennia. This is why so many of the world's great gold belts are tied to schist. In the Canadian Shield, prospectors' journals are filled with notes of schist zones glittering with veins of quartz and free-milling gold. In Ghana's Ashanti belt, schist formations cradle deposits that have produced untold riches for centuries. And in Alaska, California, and Western Australia, schist ridges often mark the places where fortunes were pulled straight from the earth. To ignore schist is to ignore one of geology's most consistent signals for hidden gold. But here lies the mystery. Schist rarely shouts. Unlike ironstone, which paints the hills red, or quartz, which gleams white against darker rock, schist whispers in subtler tones. It may shimmer faintly with mica, or fracture in layers that catch the sunlight. Sometimes it looks ordinary, blending seamlessly into the landscape. Its wealth is not in its surface beauty, but in the secrets it holds within. Prospectors who chase only the obvious often miss schist entirely, walking over golden vaults disguised as dull rock. Imagine standing in a valley where the mountainsides gleam faintly silver-gray. You pick up a rock that flakes apart in your hand. It doesn't sparkle like quartz or shine like pyrite, but if you knew the truth, your heart would race, for within those layers may lie veins of quartz infused with free gold. For prospectors, the challenge is learning to read the signs. Schist often appears in belts, long stretches of metamorphic rock that trace ancient mountain-building events. Within these belts, gold-bearing quartz veins frequently cut through the schist, sometimes barely noticeable on the surface. A faint line of quartz, tinged with iron staining, could signal a vein that runs deep underground. Even when no quartz is visible, the schist itself may contain microscopic gold particles, recoverable through careful crushing and extraction. To dismiss schist as unimportant is to dismiss the very foundation of many gold discoveries. History confirms this again and again. In California's Sierra Nevada, Miners followed rivers downstream, collecting nuggets in pans. But when they traced those nuggets back to their source, they found schist hillsides riddled with quartz veins. In Alaska's Klondike, schist ridges provided the bedrock that trapped placer gold, guiding prospectors upstream to the lodes hidden in the metamorphic mountains. In Australia's Yilgarn Craton, greenstone schist belts hold deposits that have built entire towns and fortunes. Over and over, Schist proves itself as a silent but faithful keeper of gold. Yet Schist does not give up its treasures easily. Crushing Schist to liberate its gold requires effort. Unlike soft soils that surrender placer nuggets with a simple swirl of a pan, 
schist must be broken, ground, and studied. Prospectors of old learned this through trial and error. They lugged heavy samples to stamp mills, pounding the rock to dust in search of tiny flecks of yellow. Many were disappointed, but those who understood schist's true potential became legends, discovering loads that others walked past without a second thought. This quiet, almost secretive nature of schist is what makes it so fascinating. It doesn't lure treasure hunters with flashy signals. Instead, it tests patience, demanding knowledge, skill, and persistence. In this way, schist mirrors gold itself. For gold, too, does not reveal itself easily. It hides in the folds of rock, in the cracks of mountains, in the silent vaults of schist, waiting for the few who know how to listen. The financial world has also begun to understand the power of schist. Geological surveys map schist belts, not because the rock itself has intrinsic value, but because of what it points toward. Mining companies spend millions drilling through schist ridges, betting on the silent promise of hidden deposits. Investors watch closely, knowing that when a company reports intersecting schist with quartz veins, the odds of a major discovery increase dramatically. Behind every share price spike, behind every gold rush town, there is often schist quietly keeping its golden secret. To ignore schist is to miss the pattern that links geology with fortune. Consider the irony. Countless prospectors have chased pyrite, mistaking fool's gold for the real thing. Yet beneath their boots, schist waited, carrying the very wealth they dreamed of. It is not the loud rocks that keep the biggest secrets, it is the silent ones. Picture a prospector climbing a ridge at dusk. The sun catches on thin sheets of mica and the hillside shimmers faintly. To most, it looks like nothing more than glittering dust, but the prospector pauses, bends down, and picks up a piece of schist. He runs his fingers across the flaky layers, then smiles, for he knows that this is not just rock. This is a silent keeper of gold, a vault sealed by time, waiting for the right hands to unlock it. And so the lesson is clear. Schist is not a rock to ignore. It is a messenger from deep time, a silent custodian of fortune. Beneath its dull gray layers lies the story of heat, pressure, and hidden wealth. It will not shout its secrets. It will not dazzle the eye like a gem. But for those who know how to read the earth, Schist is one of the most reliable guides to gold the world has ever known. The earth is filled with distractions, rocks that glitter falsely, soils that seem rich but yield nothing. Schist stands apart, quietly carrying the real wealth, waiting for the patient, the observant, and the wise. Perhaps that is why it has earned the title of silent gold keeper. It does not boast, it does not deceive, it simply holds. And when the day comes that you recognize its value, you may realize that you have been standing on a fortune all along. So the next time you find yourself in the hills, pay attention not just to the obvious quartz veins or the flashy ironstone ridges, but to the quiet, flaky gray rocks beneath your feet. They may not speak loudly, but they hold stories of wealth that could change your life. Schist is the Earth's silent promise, a vault of golden secrets waiting for discovery. And it is up to you to decide whether to walk past it or to finally listen to what it has been keeping for millions of years. Remember, the Earth whispers, not shouts. And when it comes to gold, sometimes the quietest rocks are the ones holding the loudest fortunes. Stay curious, stay persistent, and never underestimate the silent keepers beneath your feet.